why I'm interrupting this test to show how we can have an oil pressure sensor behave like the on off switch for the electrolyzer. Now what I did was I incorporated the switch into my circuit here where I've got power coming out going into the switch and then it's connected to the pipe on the back side just like it would be with an engine block then it comes back to the uh, power side of the relay now no that's not exactly how it would work but uh, I'm just adding it to the circuit and then from there it goes on to do its thing now lights on or excuse me the switch is on and there's no electrolysis going on now what I want to do is I want to add some air <coughs> sorry for the bouncing around and it doesn't take much but it take all day long if I keep the <laughs> valve open all right, let's try that again. Okay, got about 15 pounds. I'm showing activity on the ammeter. And there's electrolysis going on. So, proves it works. Okay, I redid the wiring so that it more accurately reflects the way it would be done on an automobile. So, this is the power coming out here. It goes into the control side of the relay. Then it comes out of the negative side of the control over here where it's hooked up to the oil pressure sensor. And then the oil pressure sensor goes to ground and to simulate the going to ground I added a negative hookup here. The negative hookup goes over here to the negative return on the power supply. Now that's a lot closer to the way it would actually work on a car. And as you can see I got amps on the ammeter bubbles in the water and of course I'm showing about 12 pounds on the uh, air pressure gauge so that demonstrates how to use the oil pressure sensor and a relay to control the electrolysis on a car